Hi, how are you? Good. I'm doing good. How are you? Not too bad. Alright. Thank you. I appreciate it. You too. Alrighty, so we just came through the, the west entrance of Glacier. So we're on the way to Fish Creek Campground where we're going to be staying for a few days. And uh, this is the official beginning of the first day in Glacier. We just got into our campsite here at Fishing Creek, uh, set up camp. We have both tents up and we had something quick to eat. And our first trail that we're gonna hit is to Avalanche Lake. It's a short four and a half mile uh, trail. We're gonna take the fly rod, maybe do a little bit of fishing, but uh, looking forward to it. We're gonna head out here. Doing it right now. You get video? Yep. I got the hook set. <laughs> and there it goes. <laughs> Man, second one. Going up to Avalanche Lake. And we had we just just come down here to get pictures and Emily saw some fish, so we were like, let's bring up the rod. And uh, that's the second one. Well I didn't land that one. I landed the first, but uh, just a really little one. That one was a little bit bigger, but uh, we're just gonna give it a few more casts and head up to Avalanche Lake. Get down! Yeah, duh! <laughs> there it goes. Gosh, you literally can't touch one, can I you? I don't have a net. Uh, we got a barbless hook on. So it's just tough to tough to bring them in, but I did touch that one, so he counts. We need more weight. Yeah, get it down quicker. Alrighty, so uh, Dan and I actually just did a little bit of fishing right there. Never expected to catch fish in a place like that. So that, I guess, is encouraging for some fishing throughout the rest of the trip. Uh, yeah, that's good. Alright, so uh, we just came up to the lake here. We're at a high alpine lake in Glacier National Park. We fished some of the discharge down below and actually caught some fish. So we're a little bit, uh, we heard that the fishing is better up here. So we're rigging up a dry dropper right now and gonna wait out. We are seeing a few fish rise here and there. So uh, hopefully we can get into a few fish. But uh, again, you know, it's gonna be just a hurried quick thing uh, just so we can get back down and catch the shuttle. But I don't know, it's just beautiful up here and just nice to be here even if we don't catch any fish.
Okay, so what we've been doing is on a lot of the hikes that we've been going on here in Glacier, we've been taking fishing stuff just in the off chance that we do hike to like a lake or a stream that we see fish. That's what we did yesterday and uh, it actually turned out in our favor. We did catch some fish out of a small stream, uh, some west slopes. We didn't have the net though. So basically once I got it to, to uh, the edge trying to unhook them was tough. But today we have the net. We're taking our time a little bit more and uh, hopefully we're able to have some opportunities to get into some fish. Alrighty, so we just got two on the trail. Uh, it opened up again and there is a beautiful stream right behind me here. Uh, so the group of us, we're just taking a little break. Uh, everyone's taking some pictures, just enjoying the scenery. While Dan and I are doing a little bit of fishing, not sure if there's any fish in here. It's it's uh, some pretty fast water. And one of the things with Glacier is a lot of the streams are very sterile and oligotrophic. So uh, there's not a whole lot of, of life as far as macros are concerned. It really starts from the bottom up and uh, that, that feeds into the fish populations here. So there's not a large number of fish, but uh, the ones that are in here, they are completely native. They're the West Slopes. Uh, there's bull trout, I'm not sure if there's any in this stream, but uh, just some real, real uh, Montana native fish. Dan just had a looker there. He actually looks like he jugged it but missed the fish kind of. Or right, through the hook. Wasn't a good hook set. Really slick, I guess. The going is slow. You need a hand, Dan. So he had to take his shoes off there just to reach out uh, on the other side of that shelf. I guess Sarah saw one work out there, he was throwing to it, and uh, not much of a back cast, so he tried to go out a little bit further, missed it on the caddis. You alright Dan? Yeah, we're good. Uh, you're a little, you're kind of good. Alright, so we just saw one work out there. Oh, would you miss it? Oh, I might have just seen a fish look at it. Good light, too. Looks. Now that is what we came for. Wow. I'm gonna try and keep him in the water. Wow, look at this. This thing, we were throwing that purple haze forever because I figured, you know, they'd be so opportunistic and go after anything. But I had, I had put them right over top of those fish and they would not take it. But, here it is, a beautiful west slope cutthroat, gorgeous fish. <laughs> oh, yes! That was awesome. That was awesome. awesome. Couple more calves? No, we gotta go. Okay, so we're leaving our current area here. Uh, 
would have been nice to have had a little bit more time, but there is just so much to see, so we can't spend too much time in one spot. But uh, that cutthroat definitely made the fishing worth it, the pain of carrying a rod in, absolutely worth it. But uh, we're gonna head up on uh, onto going to the Sun Road, do some sightseeing, head to our campground tonight, and maybe do some fishing this evening. If not, I think that there is a day that we have planned that we're gonna do some fishing, but uh, we'll see you guys then. So today is our last full day in the park and we're gonna make it a little bit of an easier day uh, This morning dad Dan and I are gonna do a little bit of fly fishing while everyone else does some hiking around the two medicine area and uh, Like I said, it's gonna be relaxing. We made the drive down from st. Mary's and had to go outside of the park. The scenery was still great, but now that we're getting closer to Two Medicine, it is really just, it's just been what we've been seeing. The, the mountains, the, the pines, and the, the alpine setting, and uh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Alrighty, so the primary focus of the last few days has been hiking and this is now our last full day in Glacier National Park and uh, we're gonna kind of take it a little bit easier and uh, just relax so for us that means we're gonna get to do some fishing so this afternoon we're planning on hitting up this stream and maybe one other and hopefully get into a few native West Slope cutthroat It's, it's big. Rainbow. All right, so just hooked into a nice rainbow on a, uh, like a leech pattern, just a black woolly bugger. Uh, we were throwing a dry fly, nothing was hitting it, and uh, just picked up. This decent rainbow. Curve. Real good fish. He was jumping like crazy too. Just a really fun fight. Alrighty, so as far as the fishing goes here, wasn't really what we expected. Uh, I caught that rainbow. We saw another guy catch a really small rainbow. But uh, we're after some cutthroat, so we might switch locations here. Plus, we're not fishing in any one place for any real long particular amount of time just because of uh, just the family being along with us. So they want to relax in different places, see some different scenery. So do we. So we're going to switch locations here and hopefully uh, find some native West Slope cutthroat. So we're out one more time 
probably going to be the last hurrah for here in Glacier. But uh, Dan just caught one. He was off by himself. He doesn't have a net. Uh, he was a little bit ahead of me, so we didn't get it on camera. We're fishing a beautiful section, really deep holes and crystal clear water that looks just blue beyond belief. So, I mean, Dan caught one. So that was really one of the primary objectives was to get Dan into some fish. I had already caught a few earlier in the trip. So hopefully we can get into a few more fish and get them on video here. Is that a rainbow? Well, honestly, uh, we think that was a rainbow, but we're not 100% certain. They look very similar when they're small, um, but this water is just phenomenal. We had a couple of really good drifts through there that were really promising. Not picking up as many fish as we would like. Doug saw some nicer fish up in this really deep area by the waterfall. Hopefully we can pick those fish up and maybe a streamer. All right, so just picked up another little guy. Super fun. They're really, really uh, responsive to this little elk hair caddis we're throwing right now. So hopefully we can keep picking a few up. Yeah, all right. That thing is tiny. It uh, definitely doesn't require a six weight, that's for sure. But that's what we're throwing out here because the wind. There he goes. Man, you can use him for bait. Well, that's gonna about do it for our fishing trip, our vacation out here in Glacier National Park. And there's really so much that can be said about this location, this place, but words really can't put it into justice. So hopefully this video helps to do that, helps to showcase some of the beauty of the park here and some of the beautiful fish that inhabit Glacier National Park. So until next time, we'll see you on the water. Thanks for watching.